The next piece of my Raspberry Pi car is to control the motors, of course. So I picked up this low-cost, 10-amp, brushed ESC from Amazon for 8 bucks. It includes this uh, pretty weak instructional piece of paper indicating a 4.8 to 8.4 volt input. And it does include a 5 volt 1 amp BEC output, which is probably just quite not enough to power my Pi. The wiring connections are pretty straightforward. And some other generic information, you know, not, not super helpful. So if we look at the board itself, we can see on the left hand side, I'm sorry, the right hand side, we can see our power MOSFETs. On the left hand side, there is a LED indicator light just between the two chips. And the red colored capacitor indicates that this is the braked version. You can also purchase this where it does not include a brake. Next to the MOSFETs, we can see a capacitor dangling off with the wires. Kind of janky. So the long wire is going to be our PWM or PPM signal input and BEC output. JST male and females for battery in and motor out, and of course a switch. Looking at the rear, the silk screen yields a version 1.00. Flipping it around, we can see that there's a date of 2016-0224. So oldie, but maybe still a goodie. Let's hook it up to the scope and find out. Holy cow, so what have we got going on here? Basically, I've got a Raspberry Pi connected to a Adafruit motor driver uh, version 2 board, I think is what that's called. Which is essentially this very same PWM controller, except it's connected to two H-Bridge chips. So that's kind of used elsewhere in the project, but I'm using the PWM driver on here as an input to the 10 amp ESC that we looked at. Um, I've got a battery with the switching regulator giving the 5 volts to the Arduino and we've got the steering servo on here connected to the ADC uh, from Adafruit, another I2C device. Um, I forgot to mention this PWM driver is controlled by I2C. So we've got um, my Tech 2440 scope hooked up here looking at the two PWM outputs over here and one of them is going to the B, um, the ESC so I've got just the white pin pulled out we've got ground linked in through uh, the battery and then we've got some alligator clips connected to a little DC motor over here brush DC motor so we're just going to take a look at what sort of drive this thing wants. Right now I've got a reference up on the screen at uh, a one milliamp, or I'm sorry, one millisecond signal. So this one here is a, yeah, about a one millisecond signal going on here. Now we've got a period of, uh, you know, standard 20 milliseconds for an RC. So we look at this, uh, my reference signal at the top, we can measure this and it's coming in at perfect 20 milliamp signal there. If you can see that. 20, milliamp, 20 millisecond signal. And if we zoom in now, we can see uh, my reference signal is at the top here in a nice clean one millisecond and then at the bottom this is the signal connected to the input on the ESC so right now we're at the midpoint and we're putting out 1.5 milliseconds or the signal here which basically means it's doing nothing so let's change that and see what happens Okay, so I'm going to launch my application, which you can see is putting up a 1500 millisecond signal. And if I slide it left and right here in my application, it will slide the PWM signal left and right as well. Back and forth all day long. 
So what I'm setting here is a signal between, let's dial this in so we can actually see exactly what I got going on. So currently we're at one millisecond here and I should be able to go all the way to two. So I'm just setting this line that tells you where two is. And if I drag my application, I'm gonna take that signal all the way to two, which is full forward, got full reverse at one millisecond, and right in the middle should be break-ish. So let's go ahead and power it on. I'm just gonna reset this back to the midpoint. Let's go ahead and power it on. I put a little red thing here to tell me when it is powered on. The ESC starts blinking. And if I slowly inch my signal forward, the motor starts spinning. So if I dial it back down, and it's really sensitive, I don't know, it's, maybe it's just, I'm not used to all this stuff, so I have no idea what I'm doing really. Now if I inch it backwards, we're spinning the opposite direction. So that's essentially how all uh, you know hobby ESCs work, I guess. I don't really know. But this one's particularly weird because you have to stay at the midpoint for a while before you can switch directions. So I'm gonna have to program that into my code. But there you have it. So this 10 amp ESC seems to work fine. It should work for my needs. And uh, I'm going to show how I did all this in code. Thanks.